The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome, welcome to Unhinge with the Door Dork. Today, we do have a very special nerd, Rick Streifel. Well, this last one is pretty nasty. I actually got it on my recent trip to Las Vegas. It was in a lower lobby, kind of leading out to a parking garage where you could get Uber. So I'll just let you see it. Okay, it's a hotel, yeah. Oh, and a maglock too. The exit sign looks like it's on fire. It does look a little. <laughs> Oh, uh, now, right? Like, well, it looks like it's flames, right? Orange at the bottom, red at the top. Oh, is that a card? I was trying to decide if it was an indicator or a card. Reader. That looks like, like a hotel lock. Yeah. yeah like a, a uh, mag local strip, hotel mag lock or something. Yeah. yeah, mag strip lock. Yeah. Wow. A reader here. Well, that's for the magnets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you got to have a card to get through. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Obviously, you didn't open the door. I wonder if the card reader aspect of it had been disabled. The hotel lock was maybe in passage function. I would really hope. And so. I and I, I would hope that the mag lock had been connected through the fire alarm system so that if someone pulled the pull station, that the door would unlock. There's also no pull station right here. <laughs> right. Uh, that was my next point is it's got to be within a certain distance of the door. And then there has to be a signage on the door indicating that you have to pull the pull station. Yes. I actually had my phone out. I was filming me walking up to this lock and I went up to like try to see if it was open and it was locked. But then immediately after that, an employee employee came out that door and yeah. kind of caught me off guard. So I didn't, I wasn't able to get the whole shot, but it was locked. I checked. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yep. Pretty frightening stuff. What do you think I, the you boxes think that at least on the, top if, are? Uh, sorry, what do you think the what is? Not so, that. The, like, a third of the way down or a quarter of the way down the those. What do you think that is covering? I, my thought was that they put, like, I'm guessing that this is near the catering. I'm, this is a purely speculative. The catering area where they have the high carts full of dishes oh, and food. And okay. maybe that's rent the door rub yeah, yeah i think that makes sense. just protected protected yeah. place okay. and it was just staff only was coming in and out of this and yeah. so they had the doorman carts and stuff yeah and, i mean you okay. might be right with the catering carts as yeah. well i'm sure that makes sense transferring a lot of stuff through this or luggage carts things like that yeah you'd think at least on a door like this with an exit they'd at least have like maybe 15 second delay alarm hardware you got to hold the bar in for 15 seconds and it squeals at you before it opens or, or something like that but this is just you know but it's a hotel so they do their own stuff they don't hire pros this is the guy who last week was the janitor and yeah. this week he's the maintenance guy right he's like I, i've played around with low voltage i could do a mag lock yeah i mean in bc a locksmith is an apprenticeable trade so it's a three-year apprenticeship by the provincial government plus you have to be licensed by the attorney general's department which is a security clearance you know background check right and they started that and i have to look at my license 90, 1995 they started that so i went off and i did the test so i'm a journeyman so when people call me a technician that's my pet peeve i'm not a technician Technician is the guy who fixes your photocopier. I'm a tradesman, right? I have a piece of paper on my wall that says I'm a tradesman. So, but yeah, um, this... yeah I don't believe Las Vegas has a low voltage license, but I might be wrong. Maybe someone correct me if I'm wrong. I know Washington, California, and Oregon all have, you need a, a low voltage license to work on electronic hardware like this. But I think Utah, Idaho, and Nevada, I don't know. Nevada might need a license, but I might be wrong. Statewide. Yeah, for BC, low voltage, I think which 124 volts or something like that is included in the trade of locksmith right and also alarm installers can do access control as well and, and the alarm companies do the majority of access control stuff because the locksmiths are too busy fixing the mistakes afterwards really wow that's different from here usually alarm companies aren't doing as much access control it's like the security integrators i guess maybe they're one and the same i don't know yeah no here it's quite a split my nephew is an alarm installer and has been for a long time and they do a lot of access control stuff hmm. learn something new every day this is awesome yeah. well this is not awesome this is not great yeah so are we gonna rate it yeah any any I final mean, comments it, it's yeah it's it's still obstructed right it's got a nice astragal on the door it's still obstructed so you're not getting through no matter how hard you beat on it and i'll hope that uh, the fire alarm system would disable the mag lock and yeah, that would really. tell me there's no flush bolts on the door so if the fire alarm went off and the mag lock let go which i'm not guaranteeing would happen the doors should be able to push open in theory the in right theory. side the right leaf is actually locked. So it would probably just be the left leaf that would just be able to push. Well, through. but then they'd be pinned together and then they both open at the same time, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. The, the sure. latch on the right hand side would be in, would locked into the left hand side. I mean, when you're using your card entry, it probably unlocks both mags because if they're pushing carts of stuff through it. Yeah, they would have mm -hmm. to. Yeah. 
Yeah, but interestingly, they don't have any lever protection. They don't have any bumps on the doors to prevent carts from taking the door handles off. So it's a toughie. I don't know what that crap is at the top. Maybe they yeah. reused the door from the kitchens or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess the, the Maglox, it's locked in two different ways. It's a technically a path of egress. It's exit that apparently only staff can get through. I didn't try my hotel card, but I doubt it was going to work. Uh, I knew it wouldn't work on the mag stripe because I didn't have a mag stripe on, but I doubt it would have worked on that reader as well. And well, that's not acceptable for fire code anyway. Yeah, you, right? you shouldn't. Because you, you have to have a special device, no special knowledge or device to open the door. Exactly. Right? That's three strikes. You're out in my book. <laughs> yep. 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 Seems yeah. like a hat trick today. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's pretty <laughs> scary stuff. And the problem is, is that you can yell and scream all you want and mostly it falls on deaf ears, you know, until, okay. until the big, you know, New York nightclub fire where they were chaining the panic hardware together so people couldn't let their friends in the back door because it was cheaper than putting a guy on the door to prevent people from doing that. Yeah. But, you know, until that happens. And yeah. hospitality is a whole nother beast and especially in Vegas, it's the race yeah. to the bottom. So I'm not surprised to see stuff like this. This was not my only life safety picture that I took over the week that was there. Yeah, 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 for sure. This I was, was probably the worst sure. one though. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was in Vegas a year ago actually and I look at, you know, what kind of hardware's on the door. Like when you talk about it, door hardware nerds, you know, I walk up, I look at hardware and I can, when I first apprenticed, the guy who trained me, we had a little bit of a game going. If we would walk up to a premise that we were unfamiliar with, it was a contest between the two of us to see who could identify the keyway of the door as you were walking up to it, right? Which is, it was kind of fun, but it's a damn yeah. good way to learn keyways, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's actually brilliant. As you're walking up to like a door, look at the cylinder and who can identify the keyway first? Mm. I still do that. <laughs> uh, my wife gets annoyed because, you know, we'll go to someplace. Like we were in a upper scale restaurant and we were sitting out on the patio and they had a door that was closed to go to the, from the restaurant side to the patio side. The door closer was half hanging on and there was all kinds of issues with the door. The panic hardware wasn't installed properly and all that. And I'm watching every time someone comes through the store, they're struggling with the store. And I couldn't stand it anymore. When we left, I called the manager over and I said, you got to fix this. And this is what's wrong. And this is what's wrong. And this is what's wrong. My wife's just shaking her head, but I have to, it's, you know, yeah, in my, it's, it's in my blood. <laughs> like a good locksmith, you have a strong sense of integrity and it holds you accountable. So yeah. And a low tolerance for stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Are we saying it? Are we calling it a, a, a 10? Another 10? We have, we have to. to. It's a life safety thing. It's a 10. Yeah. Wow. This is a first of firsts. Happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's a trifecta or a hat trick. If only we were turning 30. Yeah, there you go. I, I did that yeah. a long time ago. I was going to say, I'm pretty much another decade older than that. So, yeah. If we had this last year, I would have been turning 33, right? That would have been mm. 33. All Still, right. a baby. Still a baby. Okay. Well, Rick, thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure having you on the show. Make sure you join us for the next episode of Unhinged. Our doors are always open, partially because they're unhinged. If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged, or if you have a photo to submit like Rick did today, you can email me at mia at doorhardwarenerds.com. Thanks for watching.